Are you having a hard time getting your WordPress theme to look exactly how you would like it? Is your theme editor too restricting when it comes to customizing your website? When you are looking to make the best possible website, you will need complete control over the customization process. Your WordPress theme will usually have plenty of customization options for you to choose from. However, there are usually a few and even big parts of the theme that can't be customized from the theme editor. This is where modifying your themes with HTML comes in handy. My name is Daniel from Envato Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, I'll show you three ways that you can edit HTML in your WordPress site so you can modify themes with whatever customizations you would like. If you are looking to take your WordPress website to the next level, then Code Canyon and ThemeForce are perfect for you. Code Canyon has an extensive library of the best WordPress plugins ever created, including plugins for e-commerce, calendars, advertising, newsletters, and much more. ThemeForest is the largest theme marketplace in the world. It features the best WordPress themes and website templates, starting at just $2. You will find everything from marketing templates, blogging templates, e-commerce templates, CMS templates, and much more. Don't miss out on this opportunity to make your website the best it can possibly be. So let's get started with learning how to edit HTML and WordPress so you can make all the necessary changes to your theme. First, we need to find out where the HTML is located. You might be thinking that you need to look in the WordPress theme to find the HTML to edit. However, you won't find the HTML files there. All the WordPress theme HTML is contained within the PHP files instead. PHP is the code that makes your site dynamic. For example, it can change content on the fly when posts are added or change as opposed to being static, or content stays the same unless manual file editing is done. Most of the PHP files in a WordPress theme contain some of that dynamic PHP code mixed in with regular HTML code. So they're just like regular HTML files, but with some little PHP snippets responsible for making your site dynamic. Even though you won't see any .html files, there's plenty of HTML code to be found within a themes.php file. So now you know that you need to edit HTML in a themes.php file. But the next question is, how do you actually do it? This brings us to option number one. The easiest way to access the PHP files is through the theme code editor that comes built into WordPress. So if we go to appearance and editor, you'll be able to see all of the PHP files that are currently active for the theme on the right hand side here. And in the middle, we can see the content area where we can make all the changes to the HTML in the PHP file. For our theme, we have theme functions, 404 comments, header, footer, index, search form, singular, template parts, and templates PHP files that we can edit. If you click any one of them, it will open in the editing area, and you can then make all the necessary changes to customize your site to look and function exactly how you would like it to. Please note that in some sites, the theme editor may be disabled for security purposes. If you don't see the editor, ask the person who administrates the site if it's disabled. If so, you might prefer to use one of the other methods described in this tutorial. To ensure that you see the changes that you made to the PHP files, you will need to clear your browser's cache. If you still see the old website without the changes when you refresh your page, you'll then want to see if you have any caching plugins running on your WordPress website and clear those as well. This brings us to option number two, to download, edit offline, and then re-upload. Instead of using the theme editor to edit the PHP files, another option is to manually download the file you want to change, edit the file offline, and then re-upload it. To do this, you will need an FTP client. In our example, we'll be using the free FTP client FileZilla. Once you are logged into your server via FTP, you can then look for the theme files. To do this, we'll go to slash, and then go down to var, And then in var, we'll go to www, then we'll choose our website, click public HTML, and then go to WP content and themes. And the theme we're using is the 2020. So we'll open this up. And then from there, you can browse inside the folder and find the file that you want to edit. You can right click the file and then click the download button. So we'll just go ahead to header.php and right click it and click download. 
So as you can see, our header.php file was downloaded onto our desktop. And we can go ahead and edit this. We'll go ahead and edit it with uh, just a normal text editor. And then again, you can make all the necessary changes. And when you have made all the necessary changes, then you can save your text file and exit out of it. And then you can re-upload it back into the same location in FileZilla. So go ahead and drag and click it. And we'll go ahead and insert it in the 2020 theme folder. And then we'll go ahead and click overwrite as we want our changes to be overwritten. And our changes will now be reflected on our website. Keep in mind that if you make any errors in your file, you run the risk of breaking your site. So make sure that all your code editing is correct before uploading the file. And now this brings us to option number three, to edit through remote connection. In addition to the steps outlined, you can also automate the downloading and uploading through a remote connection. You will need an SFTP or secure file transfer protocol to access your host and edit the files. Check to make sure that your host allows remote connections. You will also need a code editor capable of working on files remotely and saving changes directly onto the host. I will be using the code text editor Sublime Text. The free FTP client FileZilla also handles SFTP and we can make the changes in our text editor and have them be uploaded automatically back onto our theme folder. So we are still on our 2020 theme folder here and we'll just go ahead and right click it and click view edit. This will open it up in our Sublime text editor and then save the file. And then FileZilla will then ask us if we want to have these saved changes uploaded back to the host and we will click yes. Now our new code has been automatically added to our WordPress site so we don't have to download and re-upload it. There's one final option that you'll want to consider. Editing the HTML files directly does come with some risks and inflexibility. As mentioned, you run the risk of breaking your site if you input code incorrectly onto the site. One step you could take to avoid directly editing the code is to use a child theme. This will help insulate your main theme from errors and preserve your changes when your main theme updates. We will have a link in the description for how you can create a child theme for your WordPress website, so be sure to check that out. And there you have it. By using any of these three steps, you will be able to quickly change the HTML on your site through your WordPress's PHP files. You are now ready to make as many changes as you would like to your site. Thank you so much for checking out this video, everyone. If you like this little tutorial and would like to see more, be sure to subscribe to the Envato Tuts Plus YouTube channel. If you are looking to learn even more, why not check out some of the other excellent tutorials that Envato Tuts Plus has to offer. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you next time.